What's going on everybody today we're going to be talking about Saren and my Saren Prime build before we get into that though real quick just wanted to say thank you guys so much for the support on the channel and if you haven't already subscribe for more Saren is an amazing warframe that has a lot of damage potential with her abilities and her weapons she has damage over time abilities area of effect abilities weapon damage buff abilities and with the right build you can absolutely cook any activity to start it off we're going to talk about one of her most iconic abilities which is her first ability spores using this ability infects enemies with three spores that each deal corrosive damage per second and apply a corrosive status that has an unlimited duration and lasts until the spores are destroyed themselves or the infected enemy dies whenever you recast spores on an enemy that's already affected by this ability it will turn those three spores into 12 spores consuming 20 percent damage per second in the process and also reducing the energy cost by 50 percent every second spores are active the damage per second is increased per infected enemy up to seven enemies which means if you want to get the most damage per second with this ability you need to have at least seven enemies infected with 200% ability strength the status chance with this ability can reach 100% and one more thing you can do to make this ability even better is add two emerald archon shards emerald archon shards mainly focus on damage bonuses for toxin and corrosive damage types and emerald archon shards offer an upgrade that allows you to increase the maximum stacks of corrosion by plus two so when you have two of these archon shards with this upgrade it increases the maximum corrosive stacks from 10 to 14 which allows you to change corrosive's 80 percent armor reduction to 100 percent armor reduction and on top of that you can pair this ability with toxic lash and miasma for even more ability synergy next up we're going to be talking about the unique part of this Saren build i ended up replacing Saren's second ability molt with the ability gloom which is sephagoth's helmet ability this ability slows enemies and gives lifesteal for damage dealt against enemies affected by gloom and the reason we have this ability on Saren is so that we can actually spread spores on enemies a little bit easier the slower they move the easier it is to hit them with spores and on top of that you can use this ability as a heal whenever my health is low I use this ability and then start to damage enemies so that I can actually get life steal and in my opinion this ability really helps Saren's playstyle shine her third ability toxic lash gives all of Saren's weapons a toxic damage buff and this buff is doubled for melee weapons and whenever you use this ability every strike has a guaranteed toxic proc pairing this ability with the venom dose augment for spores is a really good way to have high weapon damage and the more ability strength you have the more damage bonus you get and her final ability my asthma pollutes the area with poison this ability has a 100 viral status chance and it briefly stuns enemies and the best part about this ability is that you can actually get a 400 damage increase if you use it on enemies that are infected with spores so before you use this ability just make sure you use spores and then you guaranteed get 400 extra damage and on top of all that if you use this ability on an enemy that's infected by spores and they die this ability will spread the spores around to more enemies Saren's passive actually makes status effects inflicted by Saren's weapons and abilities last 25 percent longer so with the right ability strength and the right weapons you could do some pretty good damage speaking of which next up we're gonna go ahead and talk about mods the arcanes the archon shards and the weapons we are bringing with Saren. as far as mods go we are rocking the steel charge or a mod for extra melee damage i got three umbral mods on equilibrium for health and energy recovery we got venom dose which is the augment mod for her first ability spores this ability gives additional corrosive damage to all your attacks so pairing this mod with her third ability allows you to actually have two damage buffs we got overextended for more ability range prime continuity for more ability duration and blind rage for more ability strength as far as the arcanes go we got a rank 5 molt augmented so that i can increase my ability strength per kill and i also got a rank 5 arcane energize so that i have a chance of getting a lot of energy back on energy pickup as far as archon shards go i got five emerald archon shards with Saren, one of them being a tau forge and the upgrades i decided to focus these archon shards into i got two archon shards increasing the maximum amount of stacks i can get with corrosive and then my tau forged archon shard as well as two others are giving me extra ability damage on enemies affected by the corrosive status and finally onto the weapons for my primary weapon i got the archiplasmor i like pairing this weapon with Saren because thanks to our two damage buffs the high amount of radiation damage this weapon already has gets increased with our abilities making it an even stronger weapon for the secondary I got the grim war with an energy build I got zada invocation for energy regen per second and crawl canticle so that any enemy killed by this weapon has a chance to drop a universal orb and pairing that with equilibrium is a really good way to stay alive and for my melee weapon I got an exodia contagion zol one last thing I'd like to mention for this build is that I'm rocking the zenu 
rick operator school so that i can get increased energy recovery thanks to wellspring and yeah guys that's pretty much gonna be it for the build before this video ends real quick just wanted to say thank you guys so much for all the support on the channel and if you enjoy videos like these subscribe for more and yeah guys that's gonna be it for me with that being said thanks for watching